Hi. In this video, I will show you how to create post-processing material, which will allow player to see objects and team members through the walls. Keep in mind there is some sort of bug that this won't work in the editor session. To test it, you need to play in Playtesters map. In our recently released map, we use this effect, so if you're interested, feel free to check it out. I will leave map code in the description. And I would like to say thank you to the code like me, whose video helped me to get initial effect to work. And now, let's begin. Okay, as always, I'm starting with empty map. Now, let's come here into volumes, post-processing volume. So we need that for our effect. You can use this one, or let's go into devices. And the environment rig. So in environment rig, there are as well. Uh, this is lumen exposure. So this is post processing volume, and this is basic. What it does is basically they automatically detect your hardware. And if your hardware not supporting lumen, it will use basic. If it supports, it will use lumen. So then you can input in both and make sure it works in both, or you can just use this one, it should work as well. If you will use this, but you don't, as you can see, it now made whole scene lighter, it's because there are additional components, like uh, this directional light. So this is like imitation of the sun. If you want to use default sky, it already has uh, this light, so you can just disable effect mode, as you can see, it gets back to normal. Same with atmosphere, you can set the visibility to off. Skylight as well, you can just disable effect world. As you can see it getting back to normal. But yeah, for this video, I will just use this one. So when we're working with uh, post-processing volume, two most important things. So you see priority is set to zero. By default, uh, this Fortnite lighting it has already post processing as well. So we don't know priority. So it's a good guess just to set this one on a large number. So then we know that this will be taking us our post processing volume from now on. And of course, you can tweak all these parameters, but this tutorial is not about that. It's about just our master material. So we have this, and then what's important, second thing, is infinite extend or unbound. Because by default, as you can see, it's not ticked, and it will only work when we're getting inside of this volume. So yes, you could scale it and cover whole your map, but there is no need, because if you will tick this, it will affect everything, no matter of the distance from it. Okay, well, this is done. So now... In a post processing material, add here and I do this. So now we're ready. As you can see, it said none because we need to input our material. For example, if you want at some point disable this, you don't need um, delete it like this. You could, but if you want to keep and later use it, you can just set this one to zero and it will remove effect. Okay, now let's go back to my folder. One. Now let's create material. Actually, not M, it's post processing material, so usually I call them PPM. And straight away, let's create material instance. And it put it in here. Okay, let's save and open our material. So surface is not that what we need. We need post-processing. And straight away, as you can see, it disabled lots of this stuff. And for the input, we have only emissive. Okay, so let's start with, we, uh, we need our scene texture. Scene texture. So in scene texture, you have lots and lots of uh, different buffers uh, you can access to. 
this post processing input zero, this is actually what we're rendering. So this one, default one, without any effects. So this is uh, what we will use for our like mix. So where we have mask, we will have the see through. Where is not, we need this. And then this is outputs um, vector four, but our whole ma mask, like and colors, anything will be uh, vector free. So for example, if I will use color, and then let's lerp. So basically this will be here and this will be here. And if we connect to emissive, you can see error straight away. Because it basically says, it can do map between float 4 and float 3. It's basically vector 3, vector 4. And fix is simple. We need component mask. And just in here, set RGB, but not A. And it's done. So simple fix. Actually, I will leave it because I need this. It will be like that. So this is simple right like in a it will render not render it will show what is already rendered and then where it will be mask it will show this color so now we need all this logic let's create such read right away like that okay so let's start with outline from um Code like me video so to create outline and then that uh, outline i will use to create this nice effect so um, actually i will duplicate this few times so in this one i need custom depth custom depth actually i need three of them so i will just copy this one like that okay so now i need um uh, not seen screen screen position and the uh, scene texture uh, texel size so let's start with this one so i need mask and it will be our RNG, so UV. Then uh, in here, let's copy this mask two times, and this will be our R and G separately. Like this. Then let's multiply both. So one here. One, let's do it in a B. So it doesn't matter where we're connecting A or B. Why I'm connecting one in A, one in B? Because basically I will have here scalar parameter. It will be outline thickness. I will set it to three by default, and then we can connect it nicely like that. So it will look more organized. Okay. Now we need append and this one B and this one into A. And we will append zero. So basically we we adding. So this one it's now one, so it's float like vector one. And then uh, we making it vector two, and this one vector two. Okay. So on this now, let's do add and add. So this will go into A. This will go into B, and then this one again into A, and this into B, like that. Now this into UVs and this into UVs.
and this UVs we're leaving as is. Now let's do oops, no, sip subtraction. We need two of them. Then we have oops, move here. We have color into A, and then this color into A. Then we have this color into B, and then this color into B, like this. Then we need absolute in the both. So absolute, it keeps value always positive. Be always positive. <laughs> and then add. Cool. Now let's do divide. And it will be mask intensity. And I will set it to seven. Okay. Uh, we can try this. And of course, we won't see anything, but we can try on uh, our props. We can add shape, for example, sphere. Let's scale it up. And if you scroll down, you can see render custom depth bars. If you enable, bam, we see our effect. But of course, it's not complete material yet because we can see material through, but same time this effect applies on top, even if it's not uh, blocked by anything. So to make it work on an object, as you can see, you need to enable this custom depth bars. But on the characters, it's actually enabled by default. So it works by default. You don't need to do anything because we don't have access to characters. But yeah. Uh, that works like that. And then you have like so that's basically what I modified. Um, if you would look code like me video, it's basically just sharp outline, but I just created with a gradient. And more details you would have. Um, like really nice it would look. Um, do I have my wheel in here? Yeah, like you will. For example, I can show you, uh, let's, because there is like more complex shape. So for example, if I will enable like that, it will look like this. Really nice effect. So you can imagine that, let's say you're creating effect, yeah, that player activates something and then uh, some object, maybe like in a hidden room, uh, show up for the walls like that. Maybe create, right? Okay, so this working. Now let's create mask so then we can see only through the object and not always this effect. Okay, this we have. Now let's copy custom depth. We need twice it and then we need scene depth. Oh, here we go. Send up. Okay. Now let's do subtract. And it will be a large number. So I think it's like 10,000. Should be fine. Then we need till it. That right and invert with one minus. Now let's multiply this with this. So now with this, we need as well subtract it will be one from another. So this is basically logic, main logic 
or see through basically see it uh, when object like it should detect when object behind something so now again seal it and saturate again multiply and now into saturate Here we go. Let's put a wall. So we see now this wheel behind the wall, and here it looks fine. So, same with everything else. And of course, it doesn't need to be color, it could be some texture. But of course, like that would be more complex. Um, how to apply that texture? You can experiment, but I think this is enough for this tutorial. So, yeah, play with this, and hopefully you will have fun, and uh, you can maybe create something unique with this effect. Good luck. I would like to say thank you to my old supporters. I appreciate your support. Thank you for your generosity. You can get project files on my Patreon or just buy me a coffee to support me. If you're interested in learning more about UFN materials, coding, widget UI and more, you can join our growing Discord community where we like to discuss UFN tips and tricks, showcase our work and help each other. You can find link in the description or in the channel header.